Let's keep the wolves in the hills and the women in our beds. Hey, is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. Well, hello, sexy monkeys. Welcome back to Sky Jam Experience. I'm Ben. Today is the last movie we're doing for movie review for the all Friday 13 movies because tomorrow is Friday the 13th. And today is the last one and it is the 2009 remake. I absolutely enjoy this movie a lot. Um, a lot of people who don't like this movie, uh, I really enjoy this movie. I cannot wait to tell you guys why. I really love how the producers took elements from the first four movies and combined it into this one movie. Because your opening credits, it's all black and white, and that's literally number one. That's when mom gets her head chopped off. And then part two, you got Jason with his sack his pillow mask he has that in this movie and also in this movie he finds his hockey mask there's your three the only thing it doesn't have to really like hit a home run for this movie is a tommy jarvis character you don't have a tommy jarvis character but that would have been a great follow-up sequel movie to this But this movie, overall, I absolutely enjoy the characters a lot. It's a great Friday the 13 atmosphere. Um, the plot of it is around a brother-sister relationship. In the beginning of the movie, it's about 25 minutes. And it shows this whole set of characters that I actually could have watched a whole movie about. They're really good. But they get attacked by Jason because they get a little too close to Jason. And the sister gets, you know... We're thinking she's dead. But then halfway through the movie, we realize that she is actually kidnapped by Jason. Because supposedly she looks a lot like Jason's mom. So that's why she's kidnapped and held hostage. Her brother, Clay, is out there looking for Jason. And he ends up finding Jason. And then Jason finds a cabin full of these people. And he just slaughters them one by one. Um, Jason in this movie, a lot of people didn't like how he's... Not supernatural. I actually enjoy the human part of him. He's kind of like a hunter survivalist. And he runs. I mean, Jason ran in the first couple four movies. Well, not first four. He was in the first one. But when he's grown in two, three, and four, he's running. So, and he's creepy as fuck when he runs. But mostly he's just territorial. It's just like, stay the fuck away and I won't kill you. I love the whole underground cave thing and that bus as like a way to get out from the ground. And he has like wires to ding like bells to let people let him know that there's deer or people around him. Love it. In the opening scene, it's you have that campfire speech. It's a lot like part two speech. It's great. It's right up there. It's probably the best speech in the franchise since we had the part two speech she cut that lady's head off with a machete it gets weirder sure it does her son jason he came back he was actually there he watched his mom being beheaded okay in this movie there's a guy named trent he is in the Transformers movie, the very first one, and he also plays the character named Trent in that movie. And ironically, that was directed by Michael Bay. Michael Bay is a producer for this movie. Could Platinum Dunes is the one distributing this movie. They're doing the whole remake. Some people say, even Michael Bay, say that Trent from Transformers, this is him, same character, and I think that's a little funny. I never thought about it before, but just let that sit for a second and think about it. Okay, so up to this point, 
New Line Cinema, they've been making the last three movies. Uh, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, and Freddy vs. Jason. Before that, the first eight movies, Paramount owned the Friday 13 movies. So up to this point, they both like... Paramount owns the title Friday 13, where New Line owns the Jason Voorhees, Pamela Voorhees characters in the name Crystal Lake. Platinum Dunes, they just wanted it all. So for the first time, Paramount and New Line Cinema co-produced together to help make the best Friday 13 movie they could. So they actually came together for once. I think the atmosphere, it's back to the first four movies where you're camping the lake. You feel like you're camping. You have the bonfire, the alcohol. You got lots of boobs, just like the first four movies. The lake itself looks great. The cinematography, I love the way it looks. I love this movie. The humor, it's funny from start to finish. It doesn't let up, but it's not too much, but not too little. This movie takes place in New Jersey. And if you think about the very first movie, they filmed in New Jersey. So they really want you to hit home with Friday the 13th. The director in this, Mark and Nispel, he directed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. So he definitely, and that was before this, I believe that was 2003. So he definitely had his hands on knowing what he's doing. And you can tell, because in my opinion, this is the greatest, if not one of the greatest, along with Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, one of the greatest horror remakes out there. I really do. Overall, for a Sky Gene score, I give this a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, a 7.5 out of 10. I absolutely enjoy this movie. It's right up there in my top five Friday 13 movies. Speaking of that, my next video will be ranking all 12 of the Friday the 13th movie. So when you get the chance, check that out because it will be in the next video on the list. All right, Sexy Monkeys, I will see you there. Remember, if you go to jail, do not drop that soap.